I will say it's going to be quite bad weather up there, mate. Um, please be careful if you can, mate. Uh, personally, I'd avoid it at the moment, but you're a grown man, make your own choices that way. Bear in mind there's no signal or anything if you do get into difficulty. Yeah. Right, welcome back to another video. I forgot my hat, I'm gutted. But let me explain where we are. So this land that you see here, um, and all around. I don't know where the boundary is, I have a clue. Um, but yeah, basically, this land is owned by my cousin's uh, dad and my cousin. So this car park is owned by them. Um, and down there, he's got his little ice cream van. So we're in Buttermere. So if you are around the area at any point, and, you want to, and you're anywhere near Buttermere, and you want to stop for a coffee, or some ice cream, or a bite to eat, head down to there, you come down to Gates Garth and basically look for the little wooden hut with green doors and windows, go and see John, John's my cousin, he's a cracking guy and he'll, he'll sort you out, no problems at all. We'll get that plug in there first, right, we'll get that in there and hopefully some people go down to see John and tell, you know, and, and when you do, tell him who sent you. So, yeah, let's go up here. And then just up from the right, there's a road, uh, like a little path, and that takes us to our destination. Now you might have noticed we haven't got the tents on the backs because we're hoping. So if you see, if you're watching this video now, everything's gone to plan, right? <laughs> um, if you're not watching this video now, I've deleted it, so it's probably pointless saying that. But and a beautiful area. I don't know what that cross is up there. Yeah, I don't know what that cross is. I'm going to have to speak to John and ask him what that cross is. He'll be the best person to ask. The weather was really bad, but it's cleared out for us. It's, it's really nice now. Um, so the idea is there's two boffies up here. Um, one scale bottom, yeah, so we're at the right place. So we're going to try and go to Wanscale Boffy and then if that doesn't work we're going to go to Dub's Hut. Now if you're not aware of what these are, these are two boffies in Buttermere. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we've got to try and find this first boffy. Now you might think, well, if this is owned by your family, you'll know where you're going. Wrong! Um, I haven't been up here for a long time. <coughs> I've never walked up this end. Only time I've ever been down here really is to see John and he's always at the ice cream van. Um, so yeah, we'll try and find this boffy. But again, let's, <laughs> let's, be, let's be very optimistic. If no one's in them, we're gonna stay there. If people are in, we can't, we can't kick them out. We can't really say, can you get out with doing a video? We're gonna have to come back down and we have got the tents in the car so what we might have to do is find somewhere to put the tents which I don't really want to do because the ground's already wet worst thing about that is <coughs> the condensation will build up um, and sit on the inside of the fly sheet which is what you don't want and then it'll eventually drop on the inner and that isn't waterproof and that's where the water can drop through I am joined today by my good old faithful Ethan I'm back He's back I noticed in the comments on the last video someone said oh is Ethan not doing it now where's Ethan I miss Ethan and I was like do you know what I'm gonna have a word with him and see if I come out so just for you I've got Ethan out <laughs> took time off work to come here yeah he took time off work especially for you I can't find the comment now so I can't remember your name but 
especially for you. If you request something, I will try and do it. <laughs> and winter's here. So I brought my dog. Um, she's going to come out with us for the ride tonight. Um, we were she, both dogs, weren't we? We were. My dog as well, but she could possibly be pregnant, so. Yes. It would not be fun. <laughs> so, we were going to bring both dogs. Um, so obviously I've got, I've got Winter, she's a Siberian Husky. And Ben, so we've got Ben, or Bean, or whatever you want to call him, uh, is your dog. Yeah. What type of dog is he? Uh, British Border Collie. A proper one. Yeah. And um, they, they are very good friends. They're in fact girlfriend and boyfriend. And um, Winter may be pregnant. So we could be having some puppies. <laughs> so um, if you're interested in some Collie Cross Huskies, you know where to go. <laughs> We've got a sheep. The winter should be fine, but she might not be. Right, we need to. So the river's there, right? So John said. Stay on the right hand side of it. Stay on the right hand side of the river. Yeah, so all we need to do is walk down here. And he said there's a wooden a wooden footbridge, right? So the wooden footbridge must cross the river, yeah. I'm presuming. I should really know this land. Right, let's just. Right, let's give winter a minute. Right. Right, so I'm following John's message here and we're going on this path. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning here. It's one of the nicest places I've ever walked. It's really nice. So we go down here and we need to be on the right hand side of the river. And just look at that over there. Look at the waterfall. Um, now what we need to do is look for a little wooden footbridge. I've not seen it yet. <laughs> um, and then we need to be on the right hand side of the river. Which, it's not going to be up there is it? I mean it's not that is it up there? It's that little thing. I don't think that's it. Before the hill starts climbing, says. Yeah, like but it's not like, hello, it's not down there and then across there, it can't be, because I don't think that's a footbridge. We'll walk down here and see where it goes, because there's a path down there as well look. Mm. But again, there's no wooden footbridge. So this wooden footbridge should be somewhere. Oh, look how vast it is, look how beautiful it is. So on the other side of here, I will tell you some things about this place. Um, you've got Honest the Slate Mine. Um, and they are the people that are recently putting like a zip wire. So you can basically go, you can walk across um, on a, like a strip wire thing. Um, and you know, you're just up on this strip wire. Um, so that's Honest the Slate Mine. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but it is, it's, a, it's an old slate mine. Um, so basically around the back of there is Honest Slate Mine. Um, there's some cool waterfalls over there, um, like there is down here. Um, so along that road of Honest Slate Mine, a lot of amazing things have happened. Um, I have a, well I used to have a poster on my bedroom wall in my mum's house of a Mark 1 Astra GTE. Um, now the press picture, the picture that was printed for that when that car came out was taken on that side. It was taken in the middle of the valley and then the wiggly road behind it. Also, I don't know how true this is but I'm sure John's told me this, everybody correct me, but I'm sure there's a lot of films being filmed. So like different bits of films have been filmed here. On that road, especially. Um, Hills of Eyes, I think, was one. I'm not 100% sure. It might have been Hills of Eyes or The Descent, something like that. Not 100% sure. Um, again, it would, I would need to check. And something, I can't remember which film it was now, but something new that's either coming out or came out recently 
with uh, Tom Cruise in it was filmed here so yeah that's all I know about stuff like that but we're getting quite close now to crossing over this river we are this path's got to like carry on what you found? the bridge the bridge the bridge of doom right let's go over this bridge no, now, now if you look up there the boff is somewhere up there right and that's how you get the view of crummock water um yeah <laughs> and another thing as well another thing of history of well not history but relative uh, knowledge this is richard hammond's favorite place he's bottom here so there's something else. Last week, when we were at Hauling Fell, I had a hoodie on and I was really cold. Now, I've got my jacket on and I'm scaling, scaling a fell. I'm really warm. But I mean, that's not a bad thing. I'd rather be semi-warm than freezing cold. But if we can get up here, I'm sure the boffies are at the top of this bit here because this is where the path goes. So if we can get up here and nobody's in it, we'll be happy for the night. So these two boffies in question, one scale boffy, the one we're heading to first, if no one's in it. Um, they were little shepherds accommodation. We used to watch the fell and the sheep and the, uh, you know, all the livestock and stuff. Now, Later on, when all that sort of stuff, you know, didn't occur anymore, the buildings are still there, so they've been looked after uh, by the family. And and uh, look at that. The uh, I think it's the Buffy Association. Um, I think they actually look after it. Um, which is good so we'll soon see but the building itself and the land that we're walking on now is owned by my family um, so for me this is massive family history and a massive look back into the farm life of the day and uh, what my family did basically and still do so a lot of you might not know but I come from a family of farmers um, so yeah but I'm pretty sure it's up there let's carry on Probably here. Am I breathing? How tiring this is. So imagine back in the day when the shepherds used to come up here. I mean, they'd be 25 million times more fit than we are. So, you know, they do it four or five times a day, maybe more. But I mean, I'm fairly fit. This is tiring for me. There it is. There's a little boffy. All we've got to do now is hope that it's empty. If it isn't, it means we've got to walk to the next one. There it is. Let's go and have a look. I 
I hope they got it empty. <sighs> Camera's going all over the place. <sighs> Fingers crossed, guys. Empty. It's empty, my man. I've done it. Yeah. Wow. All right, turn light on. Oh. <laughs> so. Well, if somebody else is bringing it, they're going to have to get wood. I'm sorry, like, but <laughs> you've not left any gear here. That's an old knackered seat. <laughs> What's down here? Nothing of any merit, really. I'll let go in there, not? Yeah, oh yeah, clip her off, yeah. Right. It's a tent. Yeah. But that doesn't mean nothing. Shall I shut the door? Yeah. We'll, we'll sit here for a bit and see if someone comes back. If not, Dub's hut's only down there. So, there is food. And mess tins. And uh, have a look at that book there, uh, Boffy book. Pull that out and see if anyone's signed it recently. Just so we can work it out. 23. Yeah. No, that's the 16th. That's Willie. Really. 18th of September. Today. Cape Town. Today is the twenty, the eighteenth. What is that? Shine your light back on. Do you want to hold that torch? Yeah. Today is the eighteenth. Tesco. It's old that. It is old. But I don't, I don't know where. There's only dates on the food. There's a head. And there's a head torch there, but I mean, why would you leave your head torch if there wasn't something, if there was some, you know? I mean, it works. But you see, some stuff like that in Boffy is the leave stuff. Because if you're hiking and shit, and you're in the middle of nowhere, sometimes you need gear. An old hat. That's been there a long time. Yeah. There's a pen there, and there's, there's a, a tin and everything. You wouldn't leave your mess tin in there. I don't know. You see about the chair now, because it'll be light on the way back down. I mean, I'll, everything's I'll, in date, but like... I wouldn't leave anything like that. Yeah. Everything is in date, but... So this is the Boffy view. Look at that. So you've got crummock water in the distance there, and put me here absolute sight to behold this it's absolutely beautiful and just down that path up there is dub's hut there's another one of these boffies that's bigger than this but over there there's a waterfall um it's absolutely astonishing we're still not so we're not 100 percent sure if someone else is already staying here and they've sort of left the stuff and they've maybe gone for a walk or they've gone somewhere else and they're going to return I'm not 100 percent sure but i mean to me I wouldn't stay there, if you know what I mean, and leave my gear and then come back. But again, I don't know if there's like a sort of thing where in some boffies and that, if you stay there, you'd leave some stuff behind just in case someone comes along and they maybe need some food, they've got nothing on them and they're in an emergency dire situation and the last person's left some food, you know, it might save them. I don't know. I mean, that might be a possibility. There might be stuff in there for that purpose, just to keep, you know, to help people out that have maybe like lost everything or they've got nothing. I don't know. Or there could be somebody that's wandering around somewhere for whatever reason. I've just tripped on a stone for whatever reason, and they might be coming back. I don't know. Um, but this is. I mean, I'd live here. I really would. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. It is. Um, I don't know if you can hear us now. Just... Yeah, yeah. 
it's warmer in here than it is in a tent out in that weather as it is getting really cold this time of year now so you can take the lead off her if you want to clip it right off leave her arms on yeah just in case yeah just clip that off should be fine I think we'll be fine, to be quite honest. So I mean, it's like quarter past seven. I've just been outside. I can't see, can't hear anybody. I would like to set up now because I've got wet feet. I have as well. I mean, if we set up and someone comes back and be like, "Oh, sorry, boys, we were already here." I'm like, all right, fair enough. Sorry. You know, what happened in the war with people and got wet when they got wet feet. Yeah. Trench foot. You know, <laughs> we didn't know, so. We'll uh, we'll leave if you want, which is fine. We'll put that up because. So we've got our camping lights on, our tent lights on now, and you can tell this has lit up the room like mad. There is no lock on the door, so we've propped up a um, a shovel, a spade up against the door so that we know if someone does try and come here tonight we'll hear them if they're all right and you know they don't bother us that's fine um, i mean if someone really is in dire need of shelter i don't mind letting them in um yeah so we're going to set up and give the dog some food and they're just going to set up and if someone comes back they're going to come back but i am thinking now that Maybe this stuff has been left just, you know, for the next person and vice versa. So if we've got anything left, I'm going to leave it. I might leave a couple of bottles of water or something like that. And, you know, we'll pass it on to the next person. You know, it's all about helping people out and stuff. So we're just going to set up. Are you alive? Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sort the dog's food out. Sit down, good girl. So, Winter may be pregnant. So she's eating a lot more now. So I'm going to give her a tea. I'm going to give her a good bit of tea and then she's had a good bit of food. Anyone would like a puppy, please be in contact. <laughs> so you're on pedigree chumlet. Or oh, slapping them lips together, aren't you? Good ass. You hear that wind outside, it's pretty cold. I've got rubbish bags as well, if we do need them. Right, you can eat there. Good girl. <coughs> so I've got rubbish bags as well. I've got more dog food for winter. I've got some foil and stuff. Quite nice having it. Good old pedigree. <laughs> get the fire on which is a first for us we've got one of the best views i think i've ever seen while camping like ever have you seen my setup this is that is a brilliant setup you've got to see this have a look at this will you like i'm back at home right this is this is why i've missed I've missed your shenanigans right so you've got he's got his mattress blown up He's got his sleeping bag on there. Yeah, he's got his. The yep, there we go. So mattress is on there. Foil. He's got your foil underneath just to keep that cold out. He's got his socks ready. He's got his jammer pants on. He's got his charging system. We've got some water there, which I might leave a bottle. We probably won't need it, Maybe so I might leave and leave um, them. So we've got a drink for winter. I think she's demolished that. Nearly. The hungry girl. She's demolished that. I mean, she has just walked up a mountain. Um, he's got his bag nearly set up in the corner there. That's so I don't fall down the side. Yeah, <laughs> I've got my bag there. Still, yeah, I've left quite a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. I'm going to sleep this way on, I think. Yeah. Um, maybe. We'll see. I don't know yet. I haven't set mine up yet. Um, I'm still, I'm just in love with this view. Look at that. I mean, imagine waking up to that. I mean, I don't need to imagine, we're gonna. Look at the mountains over there. I'm pretty sure 
that if someone was here, they would have came back by now. So I think we've pretty much got this to ourselves. You know what I am going to do before we do anything like this, before I change? What? I am going to go and look for some more wood. Yeah. Just in case it does get a bit chilly in here for the night. Yeah, you have, do that. I've only got this. I'm going to get the stove and I'm going to have a look at starting this fire to get some <coughs> heat in this because we should be able to build this heat up. Don't know what that is. That's uh, fire lighters. It's got like. Oh, it oil is, yeah. On it. yeah. Right. There's packs of fire lighters behind that show. Right, so I'll try and get this fire going. I might even light a few candles. <laughs> Tells you this about, you know, about them building it, um, repairing it and stuff, and putting the roof back on, and, you know, slating it up. Um, but yeah, so this this building here is um, so there's a there's a light down in the distance, which I think is a car. So this building's actually owned by my cousin's dad. Um, so he owns the land and he owns the building. Um, but the 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 people that look after it, so he's basically uh, the Boffy um, Association. There's an association with Boffies. And they sort of like look after it and stuff, so it's very cool. It's nice that this is here because imagine if you're hiking out here, you're not from this this area, you, or you could, you might not even be from this country. You could be visiting, and you don't know where you are. You need shelter. There's nowhere to set up a tent. You might not have a tent. You don't know where you are. You've sort of overshot things. This is here. This is what they are for. They are open to the public at any time, and you just pop in here. You know, warm yourself up, dry your clothes out, you know, that kind of thing. They are a, a literal lifesaver. What do you think, Winter? Do you like it? Was that nice, your food? You enjoy that? Hmm? You enjoy it? <laughs> You're beautiful, aren't you? Huh? You're beautiful. Hmm? Good girl. Good girl. Oh. Good girl. Hmm? Oh, good girl. Should we get the fire going and warm up? Hmm? You don't need to warm up, you're fine. We're going to slowly settle, we've got the fire going now. It's really nice in here, it is really warm. It's diff it makes a difference from camping in a tent. I think what we might do is I might bring a series into this in camping in boffies. We try and camp in as many boffies as possible, so next time we do it, we might go down to Dub's Hut, which is just down there, and um, I'm going to shut that window now and keep the heat in. <coughs> we get used to the smoke. <laughs> well, it's gone now. We've controlled the fire, <laughs> so the heat should build up in here, keep it nice and warm. Do you know what would make this even better? If it was snowing outside. Oh, like imagine that ice glass. So anyway, winter's just sat. Just so calm, aren't you? Can take Very calm. Off an hour, not? Yeah, take it. Off. So all I'm going to do now is out, I'm going to blow my mouth. That fire's beautiful. <laughs> uh, Ethan's already set up. My socks and shoes are horribly wet. Are you taking them off? I'm taking my shoes off. And I'm going to dry them. They are soaking wet. I'm going to walk through that stream. Fire. So I'm going to dry these next to the fire. So I'm going to move that log. I might put the log there, I think. Yeah. We'll put our shoes next to the fire. And hopefully they should dry. They'll be alright like that, isn't it? Yeah, they should be. Another bit of wood. No. <laughs> so, it would be nice if there was some more wood, but... Look at that. What? Sizzling. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I brought spare socks. I've got spare socks. I'm going to take these off and dry them. And put my spare socks on. There's not, nothing worse than them on that. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Nothing worse than uh, wet socks. Wet socks. I hate it. So I'll get these old wet socks off and we'll dry them. Oh, oh that floor's chilly. Yeah, it is a bit cold. Let's put some new socks on. I need to put this on. We need to get this going. Oh, it's cold over there. That. So we've only got one log left on the fire, but that's enough because if you can listen and you can hear it outside, 
Yeah, it's absolutely peeing it down, like massively. It is really bad. If we were in a tent right now, you could, all you'd be able to hear is the wind slapping off. Do you know the good thing about this? It kind of feels like we are at home in a way because we're in a building. Lie down, good girl. Lie down. Lie down. See, protection. Just don't pop my mattress. <laughs> Then it won't be worth protecting. Still be going on. This one's amazing. You've had your tea. There's more food for you tomorrow. You put a tin foil on it was a brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. You can use that to heat it up. It's all right though. Thank you for protecting me. Appreciate it. So at least we know that. If somebody did come, she'd protect us. She'd be asleep and then rock somebody and she'd back. Yeah, or she'd be up. She'd be up. It's still gone. So before I change my battery, uh, it's probably too bright, uh, I'm going to jump in the sleeping bag, um, I might change my pants, um, put some sleeping gear on, and we're going to get comfortable and um, maybe watch some films or something like that and then yeah, we'll see you in a little bit before we let the dog out for pee before we go to bed, we'll re <coughs> the fire and hopefully it's a pleasant night so I will see you soon. <laughs> Don't give her too much of that. I'm not going to give her any of that. Oh. <laughs> She'll be massive. Winter. Good morning, everybody. What a very, very nice morning it is, actually. It was not too cold in here last night. It was quite chilly, but not too cold. We're just burning the remains of the stuff we don't need just to dry our shit trainers out a bit more uh, and get a little bit of heating before we set off it is currently 20 past 6 I've just put the GoPro on the windowsill there um, to catch the sunrise it's what I normally do every morning I'll put the com camera outside um, and I think this one's going to do really well because well you can tell it's starting to get light, but you can see the mist. The weather last night, wow, it was terrible. There was wind battering off the roof, battering off the windows. The rain banging on the window, banging on the roof. But we were fine. We we're absolutely fine. Right here. It's dry as a bird in here. Have a look at this. I'm not back home anymore. Right, I don't know how well you can hear me, because uh, I probably won't through the door. Flip that off a second there so you can hear us and what's going on. We are ready to set off. As you can tell, I've got a big massive orange poncho on as to protect all the camera equipment in my bag and everything that's electrical. Ethan has been very stupid and not even brought a waterproof jacket, have you? No. Can't even see you. It was nice when we were in TV when we set off. Winter um, 
She doesn't like waterproof jackets, even though she has one, so she wouldn't wear it. So, we're going to attempt to walk back to the car. That doesn't show you how bad it is out of the door. In that, you're going to see it in a second when we get outside. And then on the floor, I don't know if you can see that, but you probably can't. Wasn't there's a lot of water got in. Like a hell of a lot of water got in. So, and that brush has just fallen over. That was scary. Right. So we've tied it up best as we can. Obviously we're cleaning when we came in because there's no water. Anymore. Yeah. I'm not sick now. Well, in fact, you're going to see how bad the weather is. Yeah. Right, let's go. So you might not hear us properly on coverage. Right, let's, let's do this. We've definitely got everything. Yeah, yeah I've got it. Pumps. Uh, got the sleeping bags, the beds. Yeah, I think we're ready. Oh my god. No, hang on, I'm going to put my gloves on. <laughs> we got a waterfall though. Right, hold there a sec, I'm gonna... Right. So this is... What are you doing? What's that? No, don't eat that. Get off that. I don't know what that is. There's the chimney. There's the little door. <laughs> there's the stream and the water that's been coming in to our little house. Through that stream. Down there, there's the half stone circle thing. Yeah, we're going to get wet feet. Right, go on lass, we're going to have to just get on with this. But it's beautiful though! Look at the waterfall! <laughs> oh dear. Oh look at that! Do you want to walk the long way? Yeah. We'll walk the long way. Remember how bad it was walking around the side of that? Yeah. Beautiful there. Eh? Let's make sure this bag, the old bag's waterproof. I'm sure it is. Sleeping bag is in. Yeah, let's just go for it. Wow. Look at that waterfall. Yeah. Do you know what it looks? Do you know what it looks like? You know when you're watching a video back and the um, the frames per second isn't matched and it isn't right. That's how the rain looks. And the crap thing about this poncho is my arms are exposed, so my arms are going to get wet. <laughs> That's not good. Where's the path go? Down there. Oh, what's that up there? There's a building up there, look. I think that's the other one. No. Wait there, just hang on. We're going to get across that somehow. That's not possible. Ooh. It has to be. Look how the only it. overall turn it is, if we go back up. Look how rushy it is. You can't get across that.
it's not going to work. We didn't come across this bit. Yeah, because how would we have got down that? Oh, 
like that. You just got to take it down. Yeah. And I'm sure we'll move on over that bit. Yeah, I think we did because we didn't drop down anything like that. So that was kind of cross up. Yeah. We've done it now though. Yeah. I couldn't hear a word you were saying. I thought you said it's too strong and it'll take you. No, it's not strong enough. I thought that when I got in it, I thought it's not that bad actually. Once you get in and then you find your gear, you just flat. Yeah. And you just find, you just go, hang on, wait a minute, and then that's where I'm going to put my foot. Hang on. Don't run, because that's when it gets you. That's when it gets you. If you fell, it would probably take you. Yeah. 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 On the way up there, we just tried to go across the stones on that. We would have, we just we'd have tried to keep dry. It's too late now.
So before the battery dies on this camera, um, I'm going to pull it out actually. Before the battery dies on this camera, I'll end the video. Um, that was awesome. That was amazing. There's a guy there that's taking a picture of John's um, uh, ice cream uh, van. We've, we've made it back down to the car. Um, yeah, that was that was a life experience. That was brilliant. I mean, I would do that again. And you so probably think I. I'm mad. So well, I would. Yeah, I would do it again with better gear on. We didn't really. I didn't look at the weather. I didn't look at the forecast. To be honest, I'm not bothered what the weather's like. I'll just crack on with it. Um, I'm not going to toot my own horn. But I've got a lot of experience in bad weather. I grew up in bad weather. I was born in bad weather. Um, yeah, this doesn't bother me. So. I would definitely do that again. That was one of the best camping experiences I think I've ever had. And I can just imagine if we'd done that in a tent and set it up last night while it was raining, while it was wet, we've had the most miserable cold night I think we've ever had. And I think the best thing we ever did was getting there and that being empty, staying in it. Because if that was full and there was people in, I would have just came back to the car and done it another night. In times like this when the weather is this bad, if you don't have the gear or the, the, the confidence don't do it, just go home. As I say, we've done this many times and I'm used to this. You know, I haven't just started doing this when I started filming, I've done this my whole life, walking around. So, yeah, plus I know the land, it's fine. So, we're going to go somewhere for a nice coffee. Um, it's so cold. Winter did. Coffee. Yeah, coffee and a coffee. <laughs> Winter did so well. Yeah. Didn't you, girl? You're a good girl. Ethan's soaking wet. I'm glad that t-shirt fits you. I know. Just about. Right. If you enjoyed that one and you want to see more of this series of camping in boffies uh, around Cumbria or anywhere, if, there's a, if there is a boffy near you, let me know. If you don't know what a boffy is, look it up. And then if you do know where one is after you've looked it up, let me know, please, because I will come and I will stay in it. Um, yeah. I need to do this again. Episode one of the Boffy series done. We survived. We're back in the car. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. It's a piece from me. It's a piece from me. And Winter uh, would would talk, but she's absolutely shattered. <laughs> so goodbye. I was panicking there because a drop the camera fell off there for some reason before and it just came up saying I see how look it's popped um, up really well. Yeah, it just came up card full and I thought, oh no, my camera's damaged. Like no. But it isn't. I've left last week's video on there. So my fault. Right, let's get the sleeping bag out and get set up. <laughs>